All right, so a couple of things. You, you'll want to gather some supplies first. Uh, one of them is uh, I like to do my work on a, on a rag. Um, I also have a stainless steel tray that I use at home to clean guns on. That way I don't make a mess all over my wife's table. Um, some things you'll want. I use a boar snake. We'll show you how to use this if you're not familiar. Pretty easy and simple to use, and it just takes a couple passes with that. I use that in conjunction with Hoppy's number nine, one of my most favorite cleaning solutions. I use Lucas Gun Oil, Extreme Duty, really any um, firearm specific lubricational work. I use Rem Oil Spray. These are pretty easy to source, cheap cleaning brush. And then Q-tips, cotton swabs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, sometimes I use these long ones. Sometimes I use just regular household kinds that you would normally find in someone's bathroom. So we've got all our supplies together. First thing you want to do is make sure the pistol is in a safe condition to work on. So you'll drop your magazine, and you're going to work the slide several times. You want to make sure that there are no rounds present. Lock the slide to the rear. Then visually inspect the chamber, the magazine well for the presence of ammo. Physically inspect it, and then double check it one more time visually. This pistol is very similar to a Glock, how it takes down. Release the slide, pull the trigger. Actually, with this one, you bring the slide back just a little bit, let it run forward, and then you have to pull the trigger to get it off. I'm going to remove this weapon light. By the way, not my most favorite weapon light in the world, but it's the only one I can find that fits this gun and available holsters. Somebody knows of a uh, appendix carry holster that'll take a TLR7. Uh, do me a favor, leave a comment, and uh, let me know where I can find it because I'd be interested in purchasing that. Here, you're going to remove the rear curl spring assembly and the barrel. All right. Start with the barrel. So the first thing I'm going to do is just some hoppies on this boar snake. In this area here, this is going to be the first part that travels through the barrel. And then you just simply drop the weight from the boar snake through the chamber end. And you pull it through and you pull the whole boar snake through. And you'll do this a couple, couple passes. And then you check to make sure it's clean. And I don't know if that's going to focus or not, but I got a nice, clean, shiny bore there. And you can set your bore snake aside. And then use a little bit on your cleaning rag, a little bit of hoppies, and wipe down the exterior surfaces, remove any dirt or grime. Go a little bit deeper here. Get some hoppies on that Q-tip. I'm sorry, that cotton swab. And I'm just going to clean all these surfaces on the back of the barrel. Clean out where that locking lugs interface the slide. I can be a little bit over the top with the cleaning. I 
Eh, that's done. I'm going to set it aside. So this is a brand new slide. It has not been shot yet, so it's not really dirty. Um, but I will show you. I'll wipe down all the interior surfaces with a Q-tip with hoppies on it just to remove any gunshot residue and gunk. Usually swap around where the barrel protrudes through and where the recoil spring resides. And done there. Oh, I'm sorry. And I've got the breech face here. You get a lot of build up there. You want to make sure you get underneath this extractor, which is this part here. Make sure you don't have any uh, carbon residue that may cause the gun to not extract. And then set that aside. I always try to keep everything lined up and nice and organized. That way you don't have to hunt for pieces. Not really necessary, but I'm going to just wipe down this recoil spring assembly. with the Q-tip with some hoppies on it, just to get any loose carbon deposits off of it. And set that aside. Time to clean up the receiver of the pistol. Now this has been shot and is dirty, so it's going to take a little bit more time, but basically I'll uh, wet a clean cotton swab in hoppies and try to wipe down every interior surface that I can reach. Now, while this is dirty, it's not really dirty. Gotta say, I'm uh, impressed with this little pistol, especially at its price point. This is gonna make for some good content on YouTube here. Talk about affordable concealed carry and home defense options. May take a couple cotton swabs to clean it out. Again, I go a little overboard. I like to get in every nook and cranny. mainly trying to get all that gunshot residue out. What happens is you shoot a gun with oil, especially if it's been over oiled and gunshot residue will like to stick to all the surfaces inside the gun, but it's going to extra be an extra problem. If the gun has been over oiled, all that gunshot residue will stick to that oil and make a nasty, sludge and gunk that will gum up your firearm. I have not shot this pistol yet. I bought it used just as something to fool around with, not expecting the like it as much as I do. So I'm really looking forward to getting this thing out on the range. There, that's basically all the interior surfaces I can get to cleaned up. So the last part is, again, I go a little overboard, but my last cleaning step is I hit it with a little bit of REM oil. And I 
brush out the exterior of the gun. This gets all the hand gunk, dirt, out of the uh, grip textures, which on this gun are nicely placed and very aggressive. And I'm not soaking this down with the oil. I'm just hitting it lightly. Basically act as a cleaning solvent of sorts to help lift any gunk and dirt. I'm not looking to oversaturate it with oil. And again, this is just extra stuff that I like to do before it's time to lubricate the gun and reassemble it. Since I've got some, a little bit of oil on there, wipe out the mag, mag well, really dig in here. Get out all these aggressive grip textures. All right, and then wipe down the exterior of the gun, get any excess oil off of the outside. That really cleans up nicely. Almost like a new gun. A little grunt trick there. Just brush that off. All right. Now, depending on the type of gun and the equipment on it, I would say uh, it's a good idea to do the same thing to your slide. Uh, because this has a hollow sun mounted up, I don't want to spray that directly. So I'm going to put some oil. Miss some oil onto that brush. Get in here. This is a new slide, but been banging around on it. Mounting sights and optics. So, show a little love here. And now we're ready to lubricate and reassemble. All right, so don't want to go too crazy oiling the gun. You don't want to over oil it because again, you'll get that gunshot residue. Will um, stick to that oil and potentially gum up and malfunction the gun. But you don't want to go too light that you cause premature wear on the gun. So. I'll put a healthy drop on the barrel, you know, wipe down the barrel surface. Also the top of the chamber, the barrel hood. And then I'll put a dot right here in the slide. And then anywhere I think I'm going to have any metal on metal contact. To drop on the locking lugs here. And then simply drop that in place and then reinstall recoil guide rod assembly. Right. Over here. I don't oil the slide or the rails interface on the receiver. I oil the front and rear rails in the slide. And the reason I oil it here instead of on the slide is because as you install the slide, it's going to wipe across 
and spread that oil on the contact surfaces of the rails in the slide. And then I'm going to put a drop down in this spring assembly. Anywhere I see uh, shiny metal means there's been metal to metal contact, so I put one drop there. And that's it. Pretty simple, pretty easy to do. And we're going to reinstall the slide, make sure everything lines up correctly, press it to the rear, work it several times, make sure it's free, and obviously don't want to load it. And then test the trigger. I'm going to pin the trigger to the rear, cycle it, release the trigger, and press again. Pretty simple and easy. Now, depending on how much gunk and dirt you have in there, it may take longer, but it's really not that complicated of a job and something you should do just to make sure you look after your pistol so that it can look after you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider liking it and following us. Um, could use your support and uh, your support is definitely appreciated. Thank you.